Hello, good afternoon everyone. My name is Tasha. Now, I would like to tell you about total risk response. So, what is total risk response? Total risk response was developed in 1970 by a professor of psychology at San Jose State University in California. Uh, total risk response is based on that theory is the memory efforts uh, through acquisition with uh, physical movement. Different with the other uh, language teaching such as audio lingual method and direct method, total risk response is a language teaching method which use imperative to build coordination of speed and action. Total risk response uh, reflects grammar view language. Uh, total risk response is a language teaching method and it's based on the coordination of uh, language and uh, physical movement. So there are the staff of the, uh, for the teacher. If the teacher used the total risk response, the first is the teacher should know uh, the definition what is the total risk response itself and then the second is the teacher should make uh, the uh, should prepare the material with the activities can be uh, that can be implemented in uh, total risk response and then the third is the teacher should prepare the lesson plan to support the material and then uh, the teacher should make interest in interaction to support the lesson plan and then how implement uh, in the uh, total risk response method, the first can be storytelling session. In the storytelling session, the teacher uh, tell the story to the student with a gesture, and then the student listen to the teacher, and the teacher uh, uh, tell the story repeat often. After that, the student uh, retell the story in front of the class. And then the second is comment. Uh, the total risk response can be implemented with comments uh, in the classroom. For the example, the teacher could ask the student to uh, open the door and then the student open the door. So in this case, the student uh, uh, is learning by doing. And then the third is scaffolding. In uh, scaffolding is the strategy that already used in uh, total risk response. Uh, the student learn a new vocabulary by the action. And then the advantages of total risk response, the first is it is uh, suitable for teaching uh, vocab and grammar. And then the second, it is effective for, uh, it is effective for a teacher to teach uh, for teenager and young learners. And in the total risk response, method the class uh, the class size is not a problem because whenever you uh, whenever the class uh, the big class and the small class it is not a problem and then it is very effective for long-term memory acquisition and then the advantages of the uh, total risk response is the first is is it is not suitable for the teacher teaching uh, reading and writing and then it is not suitable uh, suit, uh, it is not effective the teacher to teach for uh, the higher level of uh, learners okay that's all about my explanation thank you